chloramine has the chemical formula NH2Cl. We can think of it as ammonia, where one of the hydrogen atoms has been replaced by a chlorine atom. In this compound, chlorine contributes seven valence electrons, nitrogen contributes five valence electrons, and each of the hydrogen atoms contributes one valence electron. Therefore, we have a total of 14 electrons in the system. We notice that we can satisfy the duet rule for each hydrogen, satisfy the octet rule for nitrogen, and for chlorine. Even though in some compounds, chlorine can expand the octet, in this particular compound, there is no need to do so. So we simply satisfy the octet. And in the process of satisfying the octet rule for nitrogen, we end up with a lone pair on nitrogen, which is typical of many, many nitrogen compounds, particularly the parent compound here, ammonia. We also notice that we have three lone pairs on chlorine. If we replace one of the hydrogen atoms of ammonia with a bromine atom, we end up with the compound bromamine or monobromamine. It has the chemical formula NH2Br. The bromine will contribute seven valence electrons. The nitrogen will contribute five valence electrons. And each of the hydrogen atoms will contribute one valence electron. Therefore, we end up with a 14 electron system. We can satisfy the octet rule for a nitrogen and bromine and satisfy the duet rule for the hydrogens. One thing to notice here is that the nitrogen is the central atom, which might be surprising in that it's more electronegative than bromine, but we realize that the parent compound here is ammonia, and in ammonia, the central atom is a nitrogen atom. In the process of allocating the 14 electrons, we end up with a lone pair on nitrogen, which is very common in nitrogen compounds. And we have three lone pairs on the bromine. Nitrile chloride has the chemical formula ClNO2. The chlorine atom contributes seven valence electrons. Each of the oxygen atoms contributes six valence electrons. And the central nitrogen atom contributes five valence electrons. Therefore, we end up with a 24 electron system. We can satisfy the octet rule for each of the atoms. So long as the central nitrogen atom makes two single bonds and one double bond. We notice that we have a full octet for chlorine, but we have not needed to expand the octet. The chlorine ends up with three lone pairs. We notice that we have a nitrogen-oxygen double bond and a nitrogen-oxygen single bond. But there's nothing special about this particular oxygen atom and why it should particularly be the double bond. So we could just as easily have drawn a resonance structure where the double bond was to this oxygen and that this nitrogen oxygen bond was a single bond. Therefore, we have at least two resonance structures that contribute to the overall true structure of the compound. There's also the potential for a chlorine nitrogen double bond, so long as at the same time, the other nitrogen oxygen bonds are both single bonds. As we recall from resonance, that if we can draw more than one resonance structure, if we can have more than one legitimate arrangement of electrons without moving the nuclei, that none of those particular structures is the true structure. The true structure is going to be some sort of average of all the contributing resonance structures. Cyanogen chloride has the chemical formula CLCN. This is a poisonous gas that has some use as a chemical warfare agent. The chlorine atom contributes seven valence electrons. The nitrogen atom contributes five valence electrons. 
and the carbon atom contributes four valence electrons. Therefore, we have a total of 16 electrons in the system. And we can satisfy the octet rule for each of the atoms by having a chlorine carbon single bond and a carbon nitrogen triple bond. And we can recognize the CN unit here from the cyanide ion, for example, and from organic nitriles. Chlorine has exactly an octet, even though in some compounds we could expand the octet, there is no need to do so in this particular compound. So we have three lone pairs on chlorine, and we have one lone pair on the nitrogen atom. Cyanogen bromide has the chemical formula BrCN. Unlike the chloride, which is a highly toxic gas, cyanogen bromide is a solid which finds use in molecular biology. The bromine atom contributes seven valence electrons, the nitrogen atom contributes five valence electrons, and carbon contributes four valence electrons. Therefore, we have another 16 electron system, and we're able to satisfy the octet rule for each of the atoms in the molecule by building with a bromine carbon single bond and a carbon nitrogen triple bond. Again, we recognize the cyanide or nitrile unit on the right with the carbon nitrogen triple bond. We end up with three lone pairs on bromine. Bromine has an octet, but even though in some compounds it can expand the octet, it doesn't expand the octet in this particular compound. Cyanogen has the chemical formula CN as a unit with a subscript of two. And we can think of it as a dimer of cyanide or nitrile units. So here we see one of these CN triple bond units. And here we see the second CN triple bond unit held together by a carbon-carbon single bond. The nitrogens each contribute five valence electrons. Each of the carbon atoms contributes four valence electrons. Therefore, we end up with an 18 electron system. We can satisfy the octet rule for all the atoms in this linear molecule by having a series of carbon nitrogen triple bonds and a single carbon carbon single bond in the center.